is very clear and precise and it gives the matter as it is matters of the unseen the ways of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on earth the rise and falls of nations many questions in the minds of people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers in the final revelation from Allah for people to be patient with the commands of Allah and the verses also exposes the evil characteristics of people disbelievers when the truth is presented to them and they turn away from it the reason why they turned away is arrogance and arrogance is a disease that whoever has it he needs to cure himself he needs to seek cure because arrogance would take the person astray would lead them astray the person when he sees the truth with his own eyes and he denies it this is the effect of arrogance that means as if a person rishawa or a cover is made on his eyes because of this arrogance and therefore this rishawa or this cover will be on his heart and he won't be able to listen anymore listening to the truth he will be prevented from it the heart will be full of impurities that the heart will have associating partners with Allah and uh, false beliefs and people would think that that person is such a smart person he's someone that he can do all kinds of things in in the materialistic science for example but when it comes to the truth and guidance he's far from it why is that but especially after the truth has been presented because a person might not have been having the ability to have the truth presented to him so it's it's presented to him and he turns away from it you know this is such a, a great warning for those who are upon this because the tawheed of Allah the oneness of worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is something that is established in the fitra and the nature of every single human being Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us with this the same way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us to love something called justice he created us to something to, to love something called beauty right it depends on what people would define it or look at it or so but this is in our nature truthfulness is a beautiful thing and so on and also part of our nature to believe in the creator of the heavens and the earth and even more than that to worship him alone subhanahu wa ta'ala if the messengers of Allah were to listen to their message if you are called to worship the one that created you and worship him alone and do not associate partners with him would find that that fits perfectly your pure nature that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you with.